Yeah, I when I hear you speak, I'm thinking about there's always a way in. And I think in the work that we're doing and in everything that we're weaving, we are we are finding different ways in. And I love, I always say that if you work with the body, if you work with the densest layers, because we have many, many bodies, we have the more dense body, which is the physical body, but there is the emotional body, there's the mental body, there's the spiritual bodies. Uh, and Richard Rudd speaks a lot about this in this 22nd gene key. Like the whole gene key system, it's all about frequency and it's all about these bodies. So for me to work with the physical body, I always say, if we crack the code of the densest layer, all the other layers are going to show themselves to us because this is like the layering of all the more subtle layers and also the layering of every moment. We know that fascia in the body, it forms after how you feel emotionally every day. And you can see older people, they, they become like they, they, you know, the body stays in, in that emotional state and the fascia kind of dries up in that state. So what I feel is that, you know, food, body, medicine, this kind of medicine is really a way in. And it's, it's really a way of accessing all the other layers. And that's also why it goes perf perfectly together with human design, it go perfectly together with the journey we're doing in portals of deconditioning. And I feel like living the body, the second season, you know, we are, it's again, it's like highlighting this. When we start with the densest part, when we go in into the body, that's where that's where we're starting to really dare to crack even the, even the densest part. And the body never likes. And that's the thing that you're saying, Simone. You're seeing this thing happening in your body. You're seeing your body detoxing. You're seeing your body telling you even about things that happen in your neurological system when you were a child. Like, this is the, this is the wisdom of the body. And I really want to bring the body to the system of human design, to the system of gene keys. I worked a lot with bridging the gap between tantra and sexuality and life force. And I feel like living the body is a statement in a way. You know, it's, it's that level of saying, yeah, it's that thing. It's, it's even that simple. Bring in the body, bring in the embodiment. That's what that's what we want to do. That's what we stand for. And to have somebody like you, Teresa, that has, like I said from the beginning, all the wisdom with this and have done it for so long, it's just an amazing portal that I'm I'm so grateful for. And I I really can't wait for us to go in in this also structured way. Like every 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 time we meet, we're going to look at something specific and we're going to open another door and open another door until we are you know together cracking the code which is so important right now when the world is, you know, going through a pandemic, whether, you know, it's more like on the physical or the, or the like emotional or the mental plane, like we are, we are all shaken. There's fear, there is like, so, so this is the code that we want to crack so that we all can come into our sovereignty. And like Simon was saying, choose on an everyday basis to nurture ourselves in ways that are constructive, not destructive. So that's, <laughs> I, I guess that's it for me.